This morning, new questions about whether opportunities were missed to stop Thomas Crooks before he took aim at former President Donald Trump. Ed, take a look at what happened. Oh. Crooks was shot and killed by Secret Service snipers after he opened fire with an AR-15 style rifle just 148 yards from the former president's podium. We have, on the roof. He's right we have people that right right on the roof. NBC News now learning Crooks was spotted before he got on the roof. Rally goers on their way in noticed Crooks pacing and behaving strangely near the metal detectors, according to four officials. They alerted local police who began pursuing crooks on foot. A U.S. official telling NBC News that during the pursuit, the officers told Secret Service they were looking for a suspicious person in the area. It's not clear when Secret Service was notified. Look, there he is right there. But crooks did make it onto the rooftop. Two senior officials telling NBC News he had a Home Depot receipt for a ladder when they searched his body. Officials have not confirmed if that ladder was found on site. NBC News learning two local police officers approached Crooks before he opened fire but couldn't stop him. The head of the Secret Service telling ABC News local police were actually stationed inside that same building. A Secret Service spokesman says the location of the roof fell outside of their central security perimeter and was the primary responsibility of local law enforcement. The Department of Homeland Security, which oversees the U.S. Secret Service, now conducting a review. The DHS secretary acknowledging mistakes were made. When I say that something like this cannot happen, we are speaking of a failure. Authorities have said that the shooter acted alone. Now Politico is reporting that the DHS and FBI have issued a rare joint bulletin warning there could be retaliatory violence by extremists in response to the failed assassination attempt, although they were not specific about potential targets, Hoda. Steph Crooks did not have much of a digital footprint, police and investigators were saying. So where, are they, where do they stand on finding a motive? Hoda, the FBI says to NBC, senior officials at the FBI tell us that they have cracked open that cell phone and it has not revealed much in the terms of motive. They are still working around the clock, analyzing those electronics. We have also learned from senior officials that when they searched the family home, they found uh, more than a dozen firearms in the home, Hoda. All right, Stephanie Gosk, force there in Pennsylvania. Steph, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.